document dot get element by id is a method in javascript which is very frequently used and i see it in almost every single script that i that comes in front of me and it is absolutely important to thoroughly understand this method and the challenge here for me is to explain it in the simplest way and i'll do that with the help of a very simple example so you have an idea how it works the purpose of javascript is to create interactivity on web pages create animations and to bring some life to your web page and you can certainly do that with the help of this this method so i'm using sublime text editor you can use any text editor that you want i'll open this up and this is how it opens up first thing first i'll save this as a html document and i'll save it on my on my desktop and i'll give it a name of index.html so if i minimize this uh, there is indeed a html document which uh, looks like a chrome uh, document because my default browser is chrome if you open it up there's nothing in there at the moment okay so first thing first create a html tag and a closing HTML tag. And within those two elements, I will write this method, document.getElement by ID. Okay, so this is the method that we want to learn about. And if I save it now, this will be rendered as the text because there's no script tag enclosing uh, this. So if I run this again, you'll see that this is being treated as a string as a text so we will create a script tag around it an opening script tag and a closing script tag okay and i'll give it a tab now if you save it and run this again you should not be you should not see this okay although the script has run and the document uh, has been rendered if i press f12 you will indeed see that the script did actually run and there's an error uncaught type error failed to execute get element by id on document one argument is required but only zero present so what it means that the browser is expecting an argument here and we haven't we have not provided anything here so what we simply want to do we want to write a text on the web page and then we want some interactivity by the user and we want to change this text to some other text yes you are changed okay so we want to display this text we want some interactivity from the user and then we want to change this text to this one and the way this method works it targets an element a html element with the help of an id so one of the elements that can be used in this case is a div tag div element this is an element and there are very many elements within uh, in html and the list of some of the elements is visible in front of you and div is an invisible container on the web page if i save this and run this now you can see can you change me this has been rendered and yes uh, and yes you are changed now we have an element which can only be targeted by id so i'll give this element an id id and for example i'll say aladdin okay so we have an element with an id of aladdin now that we have an id we can copy and we can paste it here so what we are simply telling the script find an element that has an id of aladdin 
and then do whatever we want to do and in this case we want to change the inner html okay so this thing is the inner html of this element anything between these two opening div and closing div tag is the inner html of the element and we want to change this to to this so i'll cut it and i'll paste it here okay uh, let's see how it uh, behaves now so the script should run it will render this and it will also render this but then the script will run it will find the element that has an id of alert which is this one and we're saying that change the inner html of this element that is an id of aladdin to this text so we will not get a chance to see this because it would have been changed by the script if i save it now and refresh it all you are seeing yes you are changed and the yes as it is so we want to control this and i will control this with the help of a button so i'll create a button an opening button tag and a closing button tag if i save it now and run this again indeed there is a button that says yes so what we want to do we only want this to happen when we click this button so i'll create an on click event on click we want when we click this button we want to run a function and i'll call this function jasmine and this is how you call a function so what we want to do when we click this button we want this function to run we're calling this function which we have not created as yet so what we can do we can copy this and the way you create a function within the script is that you simply type the word function and then paste this so this is the name of the function and this is the name of the function here so we're creating a function by the name of jasmine and then you create an open curly bracket and then a closing curly bracket so this method now has been converted into a function and the function will only run when it is called so it will wait for the click event if it is not clicked nothing will happen when the button is clicked this function will run and the inner html of this element will be changed to this statement if i save this and now run it again can you change me it's waiting for an input if i press yes you yes you are changed so the script is indeed working and that's how the uh, document.get element by id method works it targets an element with the help of an id and you can change the inner html you can save this value in a variable and you can do a lot of things say for example i want i can also use an object for example i can use a date object okay so what i'm i'm telling the uh, script to find the element with the help of an id and then when this function runs show me the date okay so let me show you what it means now so if i if i run this now okay can you change me if i say yes instead of changing that text to whatever the text was it is now showing me the the date object this is the date and time and everything that uh, it is supposed to do since we have changed the change the script altogether we can simply remove this okay and the inner html of this element is now just an empty space and show me today's date for example if i save this and i run this again there's nothing there because we the inner html was empty 
and when I click this you see indeed it shows the the date and that is how you can use this uh, method and it is a heavily used method in JavaScript and I hope that you learned something.